welcome back to an episode of BS and my goddamn demon queen. Yeah, that's right. I said goddamn in the beginning of the video. Try to make money off me now, you bunch of faggots. Fuck all of you. Anyway, hopefully this is the final episode, but in case it isn't, I'm sorry. But this might be the final episode or the episode prior to the final episode. <laughs> Let's hope. Because uh, I'm tired of playing this fucking game. I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't like this game no more. I'm tired of it, man. It's too rough for me. That's nah, not that bad. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, what are we loading here? What what game? Death School. I only recorded like two chapters of that game. <laughs> and then I never made them public. Alright. So many place the weight of their, of their problems on Nilia's shoulders. And she bears that weight as if it were nothing. That's right. She's like, she's got that fucking Atlas strength. Holding up the weight of the sky. Weight of the world. He's like Donald Trump in the hopes of America. That's a joke, by the way. And I don't know if the whole lot of you guys are Trump supporters. <laughs> if you are, cool. If you're not, it's all right. I'm not really either. I think politicians are all fucking idiots. Mainly because they just they just care about money. They don't care about the people, especially in America. They really don't care about the about the about their fellow Americans or anything. They really don't. And if they did, there would be some changes that actually matter instead of, you know, surgery on children. So let's let's go ahead and skip that part. <clears throat> I find myself awestruck as I stare up at her, and my heart stops as those red eyes catch mine. Oh, I'm a dad. She gestures for me to approach as she descends from <laughs> she descend <laughs> as she descends the steps of her chariot. What could she want? My head, silver platter, my dick fucking, I don't know, splattered against the wall. I don't fucking know, dude. Have I upset her? Have I upset in my goddess? Yeah, probably. You probably did. Yeah, it's probably because you're a politician. Everyone says lawyers are the worst, but I think politicians are really the worst. And the lawyers that represent those politicians are the absolute worst. Alright. <clears throat> I watch frozen as Nilia reaches the ground and begins to step toward me with a slight smirk. Oh no, is this the part where we get to confess our undying loyalty and love? Sorry, Bert. Almost vomited, but it's alright. She, she's coming right for us! I brace myself and close my eyes, expecting a slap or some form of punishment. Instead, I feel... Something heavy and warm press against me. Oh no, it's her massive futa cock. Her hands slide across my arms as she leans forward and... Oh, as she leans toward my ear. <laughs> okay. You're adorable when you're scared. Her whisper sends a shiver down my spine. I don't know if I can handle being this close to her. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna this is, this guy's gonna end up being like uh, the Feindel Tales by uh, Derpixin or Depixian. You guys, you guys watch that? You know, the Cursed Prince. He's probably gonna end up a lot like that. If y'all know what I'm talking about, just look it up on Newgrounds or Pornhub, whatever. But don't do that if you're under eighteen. If you're under eighteen, don't do that. Or if you're gonna do that, don't tell me about it. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> stand firm. Thank God I got the rubies for this shit. We're going to stand so firm, we're going to be like a uh, pseudo wudo. Yeah, I'm talking about the fucking Pokemon. I'm playing a lot of Pokemon lately. Fuck off. I feel intense dizziness as I open my eyes to confirm that she's pressed against me. The weighty warmth of her chest presses against mine, sending <laughs> heat spreading through my body. Bro, this sounds like a virgin road. I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to be that kind, but it really does. Uh, it's like some dude has never touched a woman wrote this. You, 
You're imposing, your majesty. You think I'm imposing? Yeah. No, not really. Fucking Edelgard was more imposing than you. And she's a fucking war crime muffin. No, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, in a good way. Relax, I merely wish to ask for your counsel. Well, then get the damn bazookas off me, woman. <laughs> My counsel? Yes, I need to speak to someone I can trust. Oh, good. She trusts us now. Now we can just manipulate her into getting what we really want. I, I don't mean that. Well, let me let me have a sip of my. I don't remember what this fucking is anymore. I don't know. I think I'm just drinking at this point. I'm not day drinking. I'm not like a. I'm not an alcoholic. Not yet. Soon. Soon. It's my YouTuber rite of passage to message young. Oh fuck! <laughs> Drop my phone. It's my YouTuber rite of passage to message young children and ask them for nudes, and also to become an alcoholic. Sounds really bad, but I'm kidding. <clears throat> Is this about the upcoming battle? No, but that's what people will think. Oh no, she's gonna she's gonna ask for our hand in marriage, and we're gonna turn it down like the fucking Sigma we are. <laughs> we're not a Sigma. If anything, we're probably just like some kind of like Omega or something. Maybe even a Zeta. I'm all ears. Yeah, so is she with those fucking things. Fucking knife eared bitch. What did you think of my speech? I don't personally remember it, but I'm sure it was great. Uh, how do you mean? Was it inspiring? No. You're a woman. Women should never lead. It's a man's job to lead. <laughs> uh, God, I sound so sexist. I love it. Was I too mean? Uh, you're kind of a... You're a raving bitch that's killed me multiple times. I don't really know what you want me to fucking say anymore. Did I mention my father too much? Well, I mean, probably, because a lot of women these days have pro have parental issues. So, you know, mommy issue ones are really the ones you guys really want to go for, because, you know, I mean, if you're a lesbian, you go for mommy issues. If you're a straight cis male, as they're referred to these days. Uh, it, your best bet is to go after one with daddy issues. And then, you know, you, you start to find out, you know, from her mom, you know, you invite her mother over, you know, to dinner with, you know, you and your girlfriend. And, uh, you know, you find out what kind of cologne he wore and what kind of cigarettes he smoked or what kind of alcohol he drank. And then you start just implementing tiny pieces of her missing father so that way she can't stand to be without him. Okay. <clears throat> Although, if you want to do that, I mean, that's all you, dude. I don't think it'll work. But if it does, leave a comment. Public speaking is not my forte. Existing is not mine. I gently place my hands on her forearms and give her a reassuring squeeze, holding her close. You are awe-inspiring, Melia. Your father would have been very proud of you. I don't care about that, but it's good to hear. I'm sure it is. Is that sadness in her voice? I don't give a fuck. She's a woman in a position of power. You have to be a man. You have to manipulate her. You gotta play the woman's game how they play it with men. Alright, I need to stop. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like a real fucking incel. <laughs> Your position must be a lonely one. Nelia lifts her head away from my ear to glare. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Demon Queen looks away before, le before leaning back in. You could say that. If I show any weakness, my countless enemies will quickly exploit me. So will your allies, but nobody ever talks about that. You're speaking of traitors. People who wish to claim the throne for themselves. <laughs> no shit. Who else, man? If I don't display my unwavering strength, and everything my father has built over his life will crumble. Let it crumble. Let it fucking crumble. Did you mean what you said about peace? 
Amelia shifts to one side, reminding me that her chest is pressed against mine. I swear to God. I personally, though, I'm going to be real with you guys, I don't like being hugged. And it's not because I have, I have the tism or anything like that. No, no, no. I've been tested. I don't have autism. But <laughs> I just, I don't like being touched. Like, it's, it's like, it doesn't matter if it's a dude or if it's a woman, whatever. I do not like being touched. Like, I don't mind, you know, a handshake or a pat on the back or, you know, um, you know, stuff like that. But no, I, I'm, I just, if I'm not the one initiating the hug, I don't like being hugged. I don't know. It might be childhood trauma. That's the most fun part about learning psychology stuff and taking psychology classes is that you start to understand how manipulation and abandonment and all kinds of fun shit works. And then, you know, it kind of gives you a guidebook on how to, how to be, how to be around people or how to be around the people you want to be. I'm not saying, you know, like you go on TikTok and you find these interesting tips because most of them are just bullshit, but if you guys got time, pick up pick up a psychology textbook from like you know if you're in college, just take it. It's it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> There's also multiple fields, so you, know, you do you. The shape and the softness, yada yada yada. This guy's never touched tits in his life. I let out a low sigh as my eyes briefly dripped over her body. <laughs> There's no way people think we're just talking about fucking tactics. My father's always strived for peace. He should have strived for living first. I was meant to take over during a golden age. Oh, so you're supposed to be handed everything on a golden platter. Typical. How typical. Demonkind's first age of pros prosperity. You will, help, you will help me obtain that, won't you, Caligore? I don't have to do fucking shit. <laughs> but I'm doing it because I'm a nice fucking person. I'm kidding, I'm not a very nice person. I'm probably one of the worst people, I don't know. I have a very low opinion of myself. And it like fluctuates between high and low, like, constantly, so. She speaks in a normal tone as she moves back and stares deeply into my eyes. I see... In, my, in her reflection. I see fucking lava burning my corpse. Cooking me until I'm just perfect so she can consume my flesh. My eyes meet hers. Yes. Anything for you. I speak without thinking. I'm glad. Yeah, see? This is what happens. This is why guys get put in the friend zone. <laughs> That's why you end up as just another fucking option, boys. You gotta be, you gotta be man about these things. <laughs> I'll continue to rely more on your support, assuming this battle goes well. I hope it goes fucking shitty. I hope you get impaled. I hope they cut your fucking corpse and hang it on spears, like in fucking Devil Man Crybaby. Fuck you, bitch. No, I'm kidding. She takes a step back, and I breathe a sigh of relief. My skin tingles with a strange feeling as the warmth of her chest fades. Is this man touch starved? <laughs> or is he just terrified or both? <laughs> I think it might be a little bit of both. If only I could have felt that a little longer. Oh, okay, never mind. He's just horny. He's he's scared and aroused. <laughs> I shall need someone to create the next generation of monarchs one day, after all. My eyes widen. Did she really just... Oh no, and she saw. I was staring at her hair. I was like, bro, is that head and shoulders? Or is that fucking away? And I caught where you were staring. My face begins to burn as she smirks. Don't disappoint me. I hope I do disappoint you. I hope you watch everything your father built fucking crumbles before you. I hope your fucking bloodline ends with you. And if And if it doesn't, I hope your children are abused repeatedly. I don't care how. I hope that they get to the point in their life where they are happy, and then it all falls apart, and they go fucking dark side, and then they get their asses fucking handed to them, and then guess what? They get fucking used and tossed aside like the fucking garbage the person that was that birthed them. 
also known as you. So yeah, I, I hope your whole fucking bloodline fails. Fuck you, Nelia. Nelia's just even more... Don't fucking... Don't fucking do... You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna choose the fucking mage chick. Alright? I'm gonna stay within my own fucking group, okay? I'm not gonna go and tap some demon pussy. Because she's like, oh, if you don't fail me, you get some ass. Oh, why the fuck do I want that? Malavale hasn't fucking tried to kill me yet. She's done nothing but try to help me. And then you got the fucking... You got the fucking dragon, Newt. Who fucking wants to come... Who want, consistently wants to fucking, you know, just have me have my face in the dirt. I think I face into the dirt. So why the fuck would I want that? Who the fuck would want that? That's the real question. She lets out a deep laugh as she climbs into her re atop her regal chariot. Yeah, get the fuck on that shit. That's the last time you're ever gonna fucking run on that damn thing. I'm left speechless. Yeah, well, it's not every day that a woman offers herself to you. Especially half the people that are probably watching this. They're probably lonely virgins. No offense, bros. You're not going to be a lonely virgin forever. Just for right now. And it's okay. Because you have time to focus on things that are actually important. Women are not important. Not until you're 30. Trust me. Nothing but mistakes. Speaking from experience. See even more? Create the next generation? Yeah, no. I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna choose Mal and Mal. I don't even know how to say her fucking name. I'm just gonna choose her instead. Cause honestly, I don't like fucking women that do that shit. Like that's not a reward. Like if that's all you have to offer, that's that's fucking pathetic. Get the fuck out of here. I shake my head rapidly. <laughs> Which one? Are you jerking yourself, partner? I've got to get this out of my mind. Oh, no. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, Sisha. Uh, uh, let's see. Sisha. Sisha. I don't know. Attack. <laughs> the usually laid back Lamia slithers out and open and cries out as loudly as she can. What's going on? It is an ambush, my lord. Oh, okay. Nilly and Bellatrix look at me as I look at them. Why are you looking at them? They can take care of them fucking selves. You're the one who's uh, who's having problems here, partner. From the sky, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, large swarms of vampiric bats swarm down through the thick canopy above us. They're below us too. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. This is absurd. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, no shit. It's like, it's like playing Skyrim all over again. Fucking, you're walking around in Anniversary Edition for a few minutes, and guess what fucking happens? Zombies and vampires spawn up at the exact same time, and they're all attacking you. Makes you wish you had that fucking Gon Dawn Guard Runex. I don't know, something about rotting hands. Undead! Bellatrix cries out in terror and anger. Complete panic erupts, but I have no idea where to... F Focus as battles break out in every direction. Did you see, but well, look at this. Malamela, well, look at this, look at this. Alright, she's trying to help us. She's like, bro, get your shit together. Get yourself together, bitch. Well, I'm, I'm trying. I try to focus on the voice of the chaos and see Malamela staring at me. Hold mm. oh, on, I gotta drink some more of this soda pop that I didn't buy. I ever tell you guys that during COVID, I stole a shitload of fucking Baja Blast from fucking Walmart. I ended up going back and paying for it like a little while later, but still. Like, if I could afford to pay for it, I did. But if I wasn't able to pay for it, I didn't. I just put it under the lower rack of the cart for the buggy, and I just fucking walked out like <laughs> with a really long. Because, like, at the time we went in there, we had, like, a really long fucking receipt, and they didn't want to read the whole damn thing, so, you know, I usually walked out of there with, like, six fucking cases. Four to six cases of fucking Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And they were, like, the 12 packs. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, with the, it was when they were doing the Mango Gem and the Baja Gem stuff. They were really good. I liked the Mango Gem. It wasn't that bad. I drank a lot of soda. Not too long. I don't know. I have a serious addiction. 
But who cares? That's not important. Get your staff! Your staff will bring order to this fucking chaos. You're goddamn right. My staff? It's on the Dark Pegasus. Oh yeah, it's on Blackjack. I nod and quickly turn, only to be faced with a massive horde of bats barreling towards me. <laughs> At least they're trying now in their stories. I'll give them that. <laughs> An intense heat th threatens to burn me to a crisp as a red flash burns through the bats. I blink and Nilly is standing in front of me with flames dripping from her palm. At least that's the only thing dripping on Nilly right now. I'm counting on you, Caligor. I'm not. She pats my shoulder with her thankfully unscathed hand. I hop... No, I nod and hop on my Pegasus, taking hold of my dick. I'm sorry. My stall. How is this supposed to... I pause. It's actually kind of a cool step. Oh, it's, it's more like a wand, though. And it's got, like, those weird Buddhist rings or whatever. Like, you know, like Inuyasha and Moroku had the rings on it. I never understood why the fuck they had those. I figured they were like some kind of like holy rings or something. I paused when I noticed the gym at the top of the glowing, of the staff is glowing. I can't fucking read today. Bro, I might have to put on my glasses if I can see this shit. I've never seen that before. I lift my fingers toward it and... A light bursts from the gym displaying a map of the battlefield and everyone on it. How convenient. Do I actually get to interact and, you know, plot these points? Because I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem lately. <laughs> like, I've been playing a shitload of Three Houses. I have at least 100 hours in. Spread across two different accounts. Because I have my uh, my solo account. And I have my more public Switch account. And fucking... I've been playing a shitload of Fire Emblem. Like, I just... I just got the DLC not too long ago. So I'm having... So I'm just replaying it on my main profile. To just go ahead and get all the DLC shit out of the way. And, uh... Yeah, the last fucking one... The last fucking boss fight for the DLC fucking sucked. If you keep, like, your medium speed units... You know, like your, like your Brawler and your Swordmaster and fucking... Um... Whatever that Yuri dude's class, I think it's Trickster. If you keep those guys mainly in the middle, then you know you can just have your heavier units like Edelgard, Dimitri, and fucking just and Hilda just go fucking ham on the goddamn thing. That's what I had to do. And you gotta take out the fucking healers every time they fucking spawn. I swear to God, you have to. You fucking have to. And your mages, like you know, fucking Constance and fucking Happy, they're gonna get fucking marked. They're gonna get fucking killed. So. More of advice if you ever play Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's actually a pretty good game. I actually enjoy it. I also got Three Hopes a while ago, but... Good game. So yeah, I could definitely do strategy games. <laughs> of course, I did grow up playing, you know, some StarCraft and stuff. But <clears throat> and Halo Wars. But anyway. <sighs> no way! This looks similar to that mobile game I used to play. <laughs> I hope that if I ever get Isekai or whatever, that I get to say this. And if I do, just know that there will be an orange star in, in that in the sky. It's gonna be orange, like it's gonna be as orange as the fruit. It's just it's going to be that color of orange. It's not gonna be like a yellowish white like the rest of the stars. No, it's gonna be straight up orange. That will be my sign to all of you that yeah, I got to say it, and your boys are all right. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get Isekai, but. Oh, that'd be great if I could. It's not gonna happen, though. We're not all fucking Sid. Ah. Can I really do this just like the game? But if someone dies, take command. Stakes are through the roof. But Caligor chose me, and I can do this. It would be really shitty if the actual Caligor just came back and was like, Hey, thanks for doing all the work. Now I'm going to go clap Billy, <laughs> you little fucking cut. He just sends us back to our world. <laughs> you imagine how much that would suck? Oh, God, that'd be, that would suck. If that's the ending of this, I'm going to be pissed. As I reach for the map, a massive bat swoops towards me. And is promptly cleaved in two by Nelia's hand. Oh my god, she's actually useful. Focus on the battle. I'm gonna... F I'll focus on you. Oh. <laughs> I was saying that to her, but... <laughs> my heart flutters as I quiver into a smile before looking back at the map. What the fuck is that? 
<laughs> oh, shit. All right. I issue orders by tapping and dragging where I want everyone to move. This is really just like the game. I can summon illusions to distract the undead from the staff, too. They don't seem to breathe particularly smart. Undead aren't really that smart. The only smart undead I've ever seen in a fucking video game was probably in Morrowind and probably in fucking Skyrim. And then there was that one guy in Dragon Age. I don't remember which one, but it was the one of the ones in Dragon Age. And then, of course, you have, you know, Mass Effect, where you kind of have, like, a technical kind of undead, but not really. You know, like, with the Geth and shit. They're, the Geth, I'm not saying the Geth, I'm, I'm talking about, like, the Husks. They're actually pretty cool. And if you, if you don't play, like, the, um, like, the, uh, Legendary Edition or whatever that came out not too long ago, if you don't play that one and you play the originals, you'll know that name. Because the husks were actually a genuine threat <laughs> in that one. Um, but, you know, if you play like the regular one, then it's... Eh. Anyway, I need to stop talking about video games. That's all I have to offer, though. Apparently I'm useless for anything else, according to some people. <sighs> that was a bit wild. With each illusion placed, the actual demons surprise and decimate the undead. I send Malin... <laughs> I'm just going to call her Melee. And her magicians to deal with the hordes of undead. Bellatrix and her beasts handle the larger monstrosities. Everything seems to be going well until Bellatrix is faltering against some of the undead giants. I clench my palms and fists. At this weight, she won't make it without t- taking any casualties. The illusions from this staff won't effect- take effect in time to save her. What the fuck should I do? <laughs> Stay and watch on the map. <laughs> I'm going to watch Bellatrix get killed. Yay. Why can't this happen in Gilead, bro? I can't let anyone die. I lower my I lower my staff and take the and take Blackjack's reins. What are you doing, Calendar? Making sure everyone comes home. In my command, the Pegasus breaks into a gallop toward Bellatrix and her beat. I almost said breasts. <laughs> I have some serious problems. Oh, God. Towards Bellatrix and her beasts. Not breasts. Sorry, without these games are written, you never know sometimes. I won't forgive myself if we lose anyone. I will. I'll forgive you if you lose Melia. Like, you know, and then you become, you know, like the Demon King <laughs> when I lo- When I arrive, I quickly survey the scene. There's metallic scent in the air as I gaze across the wounded beasts and hordes of fallen undead. It shouldn't just be a metallic scent. There should also be the smell of shit and piss. Because a lot of people do that when they're, you know, dying. Don't ask questions. Finally, I see Bellatrix. She shoves an injured dragon out of the way and is <laughs> out, of a, out of the way of a zombified giant just before its club pounds the crater into the ground. I am your enemy, Abomination. Bellatrix is heaving. She won't be able to take that thing and protect her beasts alone. How is that an undead giant? That looks more like a lich. I raise a hand to the sky and create a massive and create the illusion of a massive gargoyle. Why can't you just have Malin Melee just, you know, give you like a fucking firebomb or something? That is a loud ass card. It swoops down aggressively and is expected the giant moves it to shield its face. Oh, this is supposed to be the fucking giant right here? Although, why the hell was I summoning a goddamn lich? That, no, that was not a gargoyle. I'm wasting no time, I scramble off with my Pegasus and dart toward. Dart past Bellatrix to stab the sword into the gi- stab my sword into the giant's knee. Jesus Christ, I can't read. A large zombified humanoid lets out an inhuman scream as it drops to one knee and swats me into a nearby tree. I almost rhymed, didn't it? My vision blurs as the strength of my limbs fade. I hope you fucking died. I'm left helpless as Bellatrix charges forward and beheads the giant. She immediately drops her sword and rushes to my side. The world around me seems to be spinning, but it's and it's as if Bellatrix is running toward me in slow motion. Is this the last thing I'll see? She grabs my robe and pulls me toward her. 
With her other hand, she uncorks a vial of red liquid. No, not the period blood, please. It holds it to my mouth, but my limbs are limp, and I can't move my lips. Hitting that tree must have broken something. You'd know if it broke something, believe me. You'd know. Oh, no. Of course. You, you can't just, you know, like, wrench my mouth open and, and, like, stick the vial in my throat. You can't do that. You gotta, you gotta give it to me the, the most weird way. Really? Okay. Frustrated, Bellatrix turns the vial around and takes a mouthful before pressing her lips against mine. I feel a warm liquid rush into my throat, and <laughs> into my mouth and down my throat. The incredible warmth spreads to my arms and, my, and legs in an instant. I manage a deep breath as I manage to plant my feet on the ground and Bellatrix pulls away. You good, Caligor? I try to speak and cough several times. Yep, I'm fine. What the fuck did you give me? The best damn potion money can buy. Before you ask, I don't, I don't have any more, so don't do anything like that again. I don't want to live, so I will, I will be reckless and borderline suicidal for as long as I feel like it. I didn't read that, but without you, it's okay, Bellatrix. I'll, I'll, I'll die. It'll be okay. I knew I'd given you far too much. It was my fault you got, you got in that situation. <sighs> it's not even that late in the day. Not many people would risk their lives for me or my beasts. But they're as dear to me as the friends that were taken from me. <sighs> God, why is my nose always fucking running whenever I record? I don't get it, dude. Like, I blow my nose before I fucking record anything. Doesn't matter. Probably wondering what that is. That's just me slapping my fucking thigh. Alright. Now what do you say we finish this and I buy drinks later? How about you don't? Because I'm not an alcoholic yet. I haven't leveled up yet. I'll hold you to that. You bitch. She's probably going to spike the drink and you're going to wake up with a sword in your ass. Or worse yet, you're going to have the whole fucking goddamn sheath in your ass. We share a brief smile and begin to press on as Nelia joins us on her chariot. Everyone who's still able to fight, hear me now. Protect the injured and do not allow anyone to follow us. We will slay the necromancer and undo this foul magic. Oh my god, they actually animate something else besides a ball of fire? Holy shit. Oh, 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 oh. An explosion captures our attention and, me and melee steps through the smoke. Necromancy, it's such a drag. I'll show this guy what real magic can do. Bro, don't knock on necromancy. It's fun, bro. You ever play fucking Skirm? In Skirm, it's really fun, especially with that anniversary shit, man. Of course, this is coming from someone who had, like, Skirm on a Switch, so... I don't know. Why the fuck? My nose is all stuck. Honestly, at this point, I might as well just cut off my fucking nose. I'm gonna be like fucking Pooh Bear. Salt and sea reference. The four of us approach the steps of a corrupted altar. That's actually a very nice picture. I'm actually gonna screenshot that when I'm editing this. It's gonna be very nice. <clears throat> the four of us approach the steps of a corrupted altar. Everyone good. I turn him. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see. Wait, where's the where's my where's my choice quarter? Where did I put you? You sack of shit. Alright, it's right here. It's a nickel. Heads, we go and check on Nelly. Tails, we check on Net and Mal Mel. Call it. What do you think it is? Heads or tails? 
Well, I'll tell you what it was. You ain't gonna like it. You gotta check on fucking dumb bitch Nilia. I'm sorry, girl boss Nilia. 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 Of course I'm fine. But necromancy? She actually seems shaken. Why is that so shocking to you? It's not like you're a vampire or anything. So there's, you know... If humans have taken this power, then we must annihilate them. What about that piece you were talking about? Well, what if happened to that? I'm kind of curious. As you continue up the steps, an ominous altar comes into view. Bellatrix grinds her teeth as she stares at what I assume to be a human necromancer atop a zombified dragon. That's actually kind of badass. I wish they could have animated that. That would have been badass to see. <laughs> like, that that's some serious... That's not even big dick energy. That's fucking, like... I don't know, bro. His ancestors must be proud. You're dead. You hear me? She charges forward with a reckless abandon. Yeah, go ahead and let her. Dragon girls, bro. They ain't worth the hassle. Oh, no. Yes, my demon queen? This episode is over? Oh, my God. I can... <laughs> All right, cool. Continue on, my guy. Because that's how we do it here. We just go ahead and we do a chapter. Maybe we do two. What time is it? It is 3.31. I have shit to go do. <laughs> I might go ahead and do a little bit more of this chapter. After that, I will go and I will do shit. And then I will record part two. Bellatrix yells out in a blood-curdling rage as she charges forward. I go... I glance to the ground and notice dozens of empty graves where the larger undead must have emerged from. She's going to fall in. Fucking let her. Grab her. Bellatrix! Sprint after her. I'm not going to make it before she reaches the graves. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Quickly, I conjured the image of a sturdy stone wall just in front of the graves. <sighs> I should not be tired. Bellatrix slides to a halt, but due to the softness of the ground, she slides past the illusion. And falls face first into the grave. <laughs> yeah, you better not tell her that you did that. Thankfully, I reach her just in time to grab her hips and pull her back toward me with all my strength. I fall back into the dirt, and Bellatrix's ass lands on my chest, knocking the fucking wind out of me. Must be glad that fucking tail of hers didn't crush you. Her tail gently caresses the side of my cheek as I struggle to breathe. I desperately tap the dragon general, the dragon general's thighs to inform her of my situation. She glances down in shock before rushing to stand. Are you okay, Caligore? No, your massive ass just crushed me. She grips the front of my robe and pulls me to my feet. Yeah, but what about you? I'm fine, you faggot. She nods. Sorry, I... Bellatrix lowers her head and lets out a frustrated grunt. Beasts are the only company I've kept these past few years. Okay. What this bastard has done to them is unforgivable. He points her sword toward the badass necromancer. You couldn't even reach me without help. What do you have? <laughs> what hope do you have of actually defeating me? In fact, I think you can make an excellent zombie. You might even be smarter for it. Enough! Bellatrix charges forward again. Belly cheeks. The dragon newt leaps over the graves in one mighty jump, and her blade cra <coughs> her blade clashes the zombified dragon's teeth. Bad ass. We must help her. That's not her hand. That's her. 
that's her that's her boob I want, now I'm starting to wonder if her breast milk is fire, like literal fire, or if it's just like lava. It's, this is what you guys do to me, genies. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you guys. This is what happens when I play more than one of your games at the same time. But yeah, no, that's, that's not her hand, my guy. <laughs> that's most certainly not her hand. Wait! She stops and turns back to me, and I gesture widely at our surroundings. Hundreds, if not thousands, of undead are swarming the demon army. Nelia, go help your people. I will handle the necro... Bro, how the fuck are you going to handle a goddamn necromancer? Alright? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, dude. You cast fucking illusions. An illusionist against a fucking necromancer? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, are you, are you legitimately kidding me right now? Man, this game... And that's all the time we have for today. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go get some stuff done, but I will upload the next part as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, cool. If you didn't, my apologies. Um, sorry if I ranted a little too much and I, and I mispronounced damn near fucking everything. But uh, yeah, I've, I've just been grinding on these fucking games for the past like fucking week and a half. So, you know. <laughs> anyway. I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.